very grateful Anna's not involved in any of this. Well, it's the least we could do in exchange for your cooperation. Now, the deposition will be a closed session and should take at least till two days, perhaps more. I really hope I'll get home sooner than that. None of the Jerome mob will be present. Of course, their attorney will be there to ask questions. It's the same thing as if the mob were there themselves. Relax, Mr. Lavery. There are federal deputies posted outside your door. You'll be unprotected as long as you're here and then escorted back to Port Charles in complete secrecy. That's what happens after the trial, I say, that I'm worried about. Well, I suppose you realize that the outcome of the trial will largely depend upon your testimony. Yeah, I know that. I'm sure it won't take them all long to figure that out also. Unless your testimony puts them all in prison, well, the lives of you and your family could become, let's say, difficult at best. <laughs> difficult. Certainly has one way to look at it. Have you considered joining the witness protection program? Yeah. It's actually all I think about these days. It's a good program. It works. I don't like it too much. I have to take my wife and daughter away from the people they know and love. I don't want to live in secrecy the rest of our lives. Well, for what it's worth, I'm sorry, Mr. Lavery. I've been in this situation with other witnesses, and it's never easy. I don't really see how it could be. The state is very grateful for your cooperation. Thank you. And the state would like to treat you to the best dinner in town. What do you say? Maybe it'll take your mind off your problems for a couple of hours. Maybe it will. You're patient, Doctor, but... Olivia's in Jonas' police business. Look, I'm not interested in her celebrity status with the police or anybody else. You're telling me I can't question her? I'm telling you I don't want you to upset her. All I wish to do is to determine whether she knows who she is and where. Look, I know the backstory in this case, and I know why you want to question this. Good, that we are in agreement. Keep the visit short, and the questions respectful. So noted. However, I should point out that this woman almost destroyed several lives in this town and killed an unborn child. If for one second I am convinced that she can stand trial, I will bring every resource at my disposal to make sure she does. Okay. I think I should be present. More the merrier. Well, Olivia, you know who I am? I'm not sure. What's your name? Olivia Jerome, why hasn't anyone in my family come to see me? Don't they care about me? They're in New York. Your, uh, your father's about to go to trial. He's going to trial? What for? He broke the law. I need to see him. <sighs> what about me? Can you please tell me about me? Well, we don't want to work. Uh, confuse you with any unnecessary details at the moment. Just tell me how I got into poor Charles. Can you tell me that? Uh, I'm sure that when you're up and about, you remember all of these things on your own. If not, then I'll be around to help you. I'll be back. I appreciate you taking it easy on her. Just respecting your wishes, Doctor. However, I want to put you and this hospital on notice. She is to be monitored at all times. You saw her condition for yourself. It's going to take more than one little take to take to convince me that she's not faking amnesia. Thank you very much for dinner. You didn't even eat any of it. Oh, well, in that case, give my apologies to the state. Thank you. Well, you should get a good night's sleep. Yeah, I hope you're right. Yeah. Big day tomorrow. See you in the morning. I'll be ready. Good night. Good night. What is it? I believe this. How did you get here? How did you get back to God?
surprised? Surprised, yes. Very surprised. Mm -hmm. Very pleased to see you. How did you know I wanted to see you so badly? Because I wanted to see you so badly. You're wonderful. Yeah, I know. 